we keep improving uh, in our decision making and making sure that we take what the defense gives us uh, and then go from there. I tell these guys all the time, I said, we, no one stops us if we don't stop ourselves. And that's what they have to believe. But we just take what they give us and understand field position. And when they don't give it to us, we take it, we punt, we play defense, we come back, we get the ball in a better spot and play the game the entire 60 minutes. So uh, all that's part of the process, but we're getting better at it. Any particular areas you're going to be paying close attention to during this week? No, I, I just want us to execute. I mean, I'm not going into the, the scrimmage trying to beat our defense. I'm going to call plays. I'm going to call plays the same way I call plays in practice. And I, I expect us to execute those plays. But that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for execution. So I'm not uh, going in there and trying to uh, throw the ball 100 times down the field or do all that, those types of things. I'm just going to go in and call plays. And I'm looking for execution. I'm looking for timing, execution, making sure we're picking up the right people on our pass protections and we're doing the right things offensively. That's all I'm looking for. Is this not a showcase? Uh, every day is a showcase to me. Uh, every day is a showcase. We are trying to improve, to get better, uh, to build confidence. So this is just one step closer to Houston. And it's, it's going to be there are going to be people out there. So it's a chance to go in front of uh, people and have to perform uh, with lights. So you know it's a different stage. So they, therefore it's a little bit different. But uh, I expect us to go in there, play with the tempo, and then execute plays the same way we've done in practice. Do you anticipate the starting, you know, if everything stays status quo for the next two weeks, do you anticipate the starting lineup that's out there tomorrow to be the starting lineup that we see against you, sir? I may, may not. Uh, may not. I think uh, as we get closer to game week, I think we're going to kind of get to what we really want to do and use the people that we really want to use in those certain situations. So uh, you may see some changes. But we're going to play uh, a number of people. I think uh, the group is getting better. I think I have... Uh, Six wide receivers that can go in the game and play at any given time. I've got Matthew Barr, I've got Jordan, Jordan James, I've got uh, Ricky Marbury. I've got a lot of guys, you know, including our running backs, to go to and use in certain situations. So I'm trying to build it from the bottom up, from the bottom up, and make sure we get the guys doing the things that they're capable of doing and nothing more. When the time finally comes, whenever it is to make a decision on the starting quarterback, I know Coach New has to keep saying that I'm going to make the decision, but. How much, how much does he glean from, from you and maybe some of the other offensive coaches? Well, I mean, he, he asks his questions, but Rick's going to make that decision. Uh, we're coaching both of those guys that have the, the opportunity to start. We're, we're coaching both of those guys the same way. And I'm, I'm focusing on making sure they execute those plays and making the right decisions and doing all those things. And then we'll sit down as a group, and then we'll all have input, and then Rick will make the final decision. In respect to Prince and Rio, what do you want to see from each of them? To be disciplined, to be disciplined, to to lead the offense, to make sure that their uh, decision making is is where it needs to be, uh, both in our run game and both in our pass game. Uh, that's all I'm looking for. Just going out there and executing our plays. Do you feel either one of them has taken the upper hand in this thing so far? I mean, Brio's had a pretty good week. They have had pretty good week. So, but. So it's Kevin Prince. They've, all, they've both done good things. Uh, and as they play better and the receivers play better, running backs play better, offensive line plays better, we get better. Uh, so right now I'm, I'm calling plays for both guys. For both guys. And I'm trying to get a feel for what they both do well. So whoever is our starting quarterback on day one, that I know exactly what they need and what they can do and not do anything more than that. You know, kind of on the sidelines, just watching, it would just, you know, you, you would think that Shaq Evans and Devin Lucian probably been your, your two best wide receivers here. What what are we not seeing with Devin, or, or are we not seeing with Shaq that you still need to see with those guys to get those kind of major reps? Or are they already there? Well, they're getting reps. If you look at our rep count, it's equal. In games, it's balanced. Well, we haven't done the game week yet, so I you won't know what game week looks like until we get to game week. Uh, but right now, our reps are equal. We're doing things, and then as we get closer after the end of the uh, next week, we start going, we're going, you know, and like I told you, I've got six guys I can put in the game right now, maybe six or seven guys I can put in the game and do certain things at any given time. So they're all going to play a little bit. So it's just a matter of uh, what we're doing in that series and what we're doing in that game uh, may determine how much they play in In terms of today's practice, um, how they executed, who would you give a nod to today? Quarterbacks? Yeah. 
they both had moments. I mean, they both did well. Our, our offense today, I thought it was we started to, to click a little bit. I thought we had a rhythm today that is uh, kind of like what we wanted. You know, we, we had a good tempo going. I think we were throwing the ball where we needed to throw it for the most part, uh, and. We were executing. Our guys were catching the ball, they were running the right routes, they were getting to the right place. And then, you know, when a quarterback gets hot, you know, it's hard to, to kind of tame them a little bit, you know. But they have to be, even when you're hot, you got to still take what they give you. And you saw a couple of bad decisions because they were throwing the ball well and they were hot. So decision making at all times is crucial. You can't get uh, overexcited when you, when, you, when you get hot and you start throwing the ball well and you try to force ball and hold it, you shouldn't. Decision making is key. All we want to do is take what they give us, and if they do that, no one stops us today. Next one. Thank you.